So um, we are now uh, in the middle of a, a hect four hectare field. I mean eight hectare field. So four hectares are devoted to uh, direct seeded rice, and the other half, the other four hectares are devoted to maize. So this uh, experiment is part of the Consortium on Ecological Intensification of Future Rice-Based Systems. So um, we are trying here to see, uh, we are trying to forecast what will, what will rice-based systems look like in the future. Because we anticipate that we will have problems with uh, water, we will have pr problems with uh, labor, so we're trying to grow rice uh, in the unconventional way. We're trying to first, uh, the first uh, main feature of this uh, experiment is we're trying to grow rice using the upland, uh, upland. overhead sprinklers. Uh, and then we're trying to see uh, if we can grow more than three rice crops per year in each site. So for, for example, in this site, we will probably grow two rice crops and one upland crop per year. So, like uh, in this on, on this side, the rice side, we we direct seed at this uh, end of January, and then we will uh, harvest this harvest this uh, maybe middle of May. Then right after that, we will try to go to grow maize without paddling, without uh, uh, with, with reduced tillage. So we, we will ha we will use. Uh, machineries that can go through rice tables and yet um, plant direct seed rice. So we will rely on um, also our my colleague has just turned on uh, the, the the sprinkler irrigation system so that you, you know what it looks like when it's irrigating. So we will try to grow uh, maize after rice, maize after rice, and then maybe sometime around September we will again plant another uh, crop of rice using again uh, no-till no systems or at least uh, reduced systems, reduced tillage systems. Uh, on, this, on the other side, on the main side, uh, we will probably grow two more rice crops after this maize crop. Al almost uh, same schedule as the, 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 the rice side. So, um, for rice, we use the Duncan uh, Duncan till seeder. Is, is anyone familiar with the Duncan? So it it's able to to break the soil and put seeds and fertilizer at the same time. So uh, I think we did a pretty good job, even though it was the first time we used that system here. Uh, and then in on, on the main side. We use a combination of manual planting and we de develop a two-wheel tractor that's able to cut into the soil and uh, put the corn seeds and fertilizer seeds at the same time. So we are uh, still developing uh, that, that two-wheel tractor more, but we will probably rely more on uh, already developed machineries from, uh, from India multi-crop seeders, we are trying to get those so that it will help us uh, uh, do the, our maize planting and even the rice planting. Um, we are now also, the, the challenge in this system is, well, uh, there, there's a lot of challenge in this system. One, in, one is the weeds. So we will have really have to have good weed control. For this, um, Right side, we already uh, sprayed one pre-emergence and one post-emergence herbicide, and we also did a hand weeding, spot hand weeding. So uh, those are the weeds that we, we just removed those uh, piles of weeds. So you can just imagine imagine how much weed uh, we have uh, we had in this on those plants. But for the main side, uh, this is a uh, Roundup ready. Maize uh, hybrid, so you, you will see that we did a very good job in 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 uh, controlling the weeds inside the the maize plants. 
this herbicides when you have taken up spraying here? Come again, sir. Herbicide application when it was done? Um, well, the, the, the pre emergence herbicide, we did that around, uh, I think, two to three days after sowing. After sowing yeah. And then for the, the post emergence, <laughs> uh, we applied it, I think, three weeks. Uh, after it was it was uh, seeded. After three weeks after seeding. Yes, but uh, we were trying to postpone it a little bit further because that will be our last spraying. So we we were trying to see if we can go further than that. But uh, I mean longer than that. But I, I think we went around 25 days, something like that. 25 days after seeding. Any after sowing. Any quantification on water use through sprinklers? Uh, the How much water is, uh, okay. Uh, with that, I, I, I'll probably call on my colleague here, where's uh, our in resident engineer, because he's the one um, uh, doing the irrigation. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me introduce to you, uh, Engineer Joseph Sandro. So he's the one uh, running the the sprinkler system. So he will probably answer that question. So what's the question? From <laughs> <laughs> sowing to harvest, what is the amount of water used for uh, this crop through sprinkler? Is it Actually, less? Actually, uh, yeah. we are targeting about uh, 900 millimeter of water to be put here, but that's not uh, for irrigation alone. It's uh, it's a combination of the irrigation and rainfall. 900 millimeters for the whole season. For the whole season. For, whole for, season. Um, one, seed. for one rice crop. Yes, yes. So one, one crop. Oh, yes, one, yes. one rice crop. 900 millimeter of water. Less the rain. But so far, so far our, our accumulated uh, rainfall plus uh, irrigation is only about 200 millimeter. 250. It is less than the irrigated rice? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. So, yes. so probably it's around 60 millimeters per week. I don't know, ganon. We are trying to, um, uh, what do you call that? We are trying to... Uh, uh, equal the, the evapotranspiration. So we evapotranspiration is around five five mm per day. So times seven, that's thirty five mm evapotranspiration per week. So we're trying to to equal that to that amount. Over the yields. The yields we're targeting at least five tons. No, observe. Absorbed under the sprinkler and then irrigated. What is the yield difference? Is it same or different? Uh, between this this system and the irrigated. Well, in the irrigated, if if you are doing uh, good nutrient management and and uh, water management, you can probably get. Uh, in our experience, in the in the in the irrigated farm, in the demonstration plot, we can get around at least seven tons. That's inbred for dry season. That's much more so, than your hybrid trial. <laughs> oh. We just learned your hobby trial is about four. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. Now you make me very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, but in, in the, the long-term continuous cropping system, we get at least seven tons during the dry season. Dry, that's dry season. The high, our highest yielding season, we get around seven tons. What uh, variety you are using here? Is, is the variety you're referring to a hybrid or inbred? Uh, that's inbred. Uh, in the, yes, inbred. Seven but but, but inbred. We, we, we have... Uh, Hybrids there, they, they can go uh, higher than, than than seven tons. My energy. comment was a joke, and now I have a serious question. How much energy are you consuming to put that water on? Okay, the that's a good question. Actually, and, uh, how much does that cost? Cost? Uh, yeah. I I don't have the figures, but it's uh, kilowatt hours. No, uh, we we that's actually one of our objectives in this experiment. We will try to see uh, the environmental impact of of the of the, of the system. Like we, we put uh, electric meters on those uh, that in that irrigation system. So we're trying to see how much energy we are consuming. Right. We're even recording the the energy that we use using machines. Okay. And then we will. We are now actually we have a flux tower in each in each uh, pivot system. Then we are trying to see. Uh, fluxes like I mean fluxes and uh, methane emissions. Uh, uh, carbon, carbon emissions. So we will uh, try to account for all those those uh, um, things in in the system. So we will know if 
the system is sustainable and uh, environmentally friendly. So, so the irrigation system for rice, rice and maize is the same? Uh, okay. Irrigation system for maize and rice. Uh, uh, irrigation for maize is quite different. Um, I, we, we forgot to mention that our irrigation, our decision to irrigate also depends on tensiometer readings. We have uh, tensiometers along these plots. So whenever the tensiometers uh, go below 15, 10 kilopascals, it's, it's, it's our decision to, it's, it, it tells us that we have to irrigate. But for the maize, uh, around, what's our decision? 50 kilopascals at a depth of 40, 40 cm. So when, whenever the tensiometers go below 50, we, we irrigate our... So you compare between the water use in rice and the maize, quantity of water? Or uh, yes, maize. Uh, yeah, we will, we will take that big, big difference? Oh yes, uh, in the maize we, we irrigate uh, maybe only once a week. Maybe yeah, uh, only once a week. But for rice, no, I mean quantity. How, how many? Uh, for for maize we put around 60, 60, no? 30 millimeters uh, each time. Around that that's that's on a per week basis. So what is the total for season or for rice and maize? This is 900 you told. Yeah, How 900. Is, What's our target for base? Uh, I, I forget, but it's much less for the maze. I think uh, 600, 600 or 500, 600. 900. It, it's, it is a, it is a uh, irrigation plus rainfall. Okay. What is Any that? other easier See questions? <laughs> Oh, uh, here we use um, an inbred, uh, newly released N six R C two two two. It's also an eerie bread, uh, eerie bread. Um, seed rate we use. Actually, we were targeting around fifty kilograms seed per hectare. But because of the machine, we put it a little bit. I think, I think around sixty kilograms seed per hectare. So that's why. We, we, is this variety released for this condition? Um, actually, it's a lowland, lowland variety, but uh, according to our breeders, I don't know if Dr. Kumar is here, he was the one who, who recommended that this variety. So they said that if an inbred is good for a lowland system, it can also be uh, considered to be good in, in, a, in an upland system. But this is just a, this, this is the first time we, we use this variety here, so we will try to see if this variety is really suited for, for upland systems. Who, who is the breeder working on this? The... Direct seed. The, the, the variety you mean, sir? No, breeder from agronomy. But it's not a breeding... Uh, this is an, uh, actually a breeding experiment. So, but we are trying to collaborate with breeders uh, to give us uh, varieties which we can use for this type of system. This is more of an agronomy, soil science, uh, Experiment. Yeah. Is it uh, economically viable for a farmer? Finally, how do you feel this system? Oh, uh, of course that. <laughs> but we are trying to see uh, what systems, what what aspects of this system can work for farmers. Of course, the sprinkler system will definitely will not be affordable for small scale farmers. But other system like the the machineries, we are trying we are trying to to develop two two wheel tractors. That, those are all uh, need some extra inputs, no? Huh? They all need some extra inputs in terms yes, of money. Uh, yes. But even, even though putting all the inputs, do you feel that finally farmer will be benefited by this uh, cultivation? Yeah, we, we're hoping that we will develop solutions for farmers. Like we had said, instead of using those big four tractors, we are trying to develop uh, two-wheel tractors which, which farmers can afford so that, so that they can adapt this, this type of system. Okay. Thank you.